All right, section two, what happens in the setup phase? In the repeating success cycle, the setup phase is an important first step. During setup, your team will define their objectives, set priorities, and align objectives to goals and resources. We said that the setup phase could take two weeks. This is because developing objectives is a very thoughtful process. Beyond establishing the target for the task, one must consider the effect it will have on the team, the team's resources, and the goals of the group for the period. The point of developing your objectives, though, is that it establishes a cohesive work plan for the team. It defines in what order the team will take on work, and it describes what the team intends to achieve by the end of the period. In my objectives, an objective has two parts, the objective part and a key result part. Together, these are commonly referred to as an OKR, an objective and a key result. Put simply, the objective defines what you want to achieve, while the key result outlines how you will measure when the objective is complete. There are two ways objectives can be written, either with key results as a child element to each objective or with the key results combined with the objective in a single statement. Here are two examples of the ways that you can write an objective. The first separates out the key results from the objective, so the objective says, complete eight hours of accounting system training. In order to measure that, two key results would be written. One, key result one, attend first four-hour session. Two, and key result two, attend second four-hour session period. The combined form is called narrative mode. It's already one simple statement, so we would have complete eight hours of accounting system training as measured by attending two four-hour sessions. Either way achieves the same thing insofar as telling other people what you plan to work on and how you'll know when you're finished with it. The act of writing out your objectives and key results in the setup phase is referred to as drafting your objectives. First, we'll look at using the software to write out your objectives followed by separate key results. You can see here the user has entered the definition of the objective, complete eight hours of accounting system training. And below that, in the key results area, you can see where the two key results have been entered. Our second example shows where the objective and key results are combined. 